out a new sponsor to Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good filler one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. All right, man, we back. Good for the Sports TV. Your boy tapping back in. Make sure that subscribe button, bell icon button. Won't miss another video. And, um, you know, uh, talking about Errol Spence versus Canelo. Kind of went live yesterday. Uh, Errol Spence said he going to test Canelo gangster, call Oscar Bluff, and try to force that fight to happen. Um, and it is what it is. Did he move up two weight classes to fight Canelo? He will lose. Point blank, period. Um, he hasn't proved shit, you know, yet. Now, if he be Sean Porter, he smokes Sean Porter. How some people think he gonna smoke him? I heard people say sixth round, ninth round, or whatever the situation may be. Um, power to him. You know, I haven't seen Sean Porter smoke like that before. I've seen him beat, but smoke like that. And if he do, man, I think that's a ton of hype behind him going to a Canelo fight, a Crawford fight, a Thurman fight. I think at that point, in people's opinion, Earl Spence would be indestructible. If he's able to, you know, smoke, um, if he's able to smoke Sean Porter, but we got to wait and see. But like I said before, he ain't proved shit in here. He proved that he can go perform in front of a big crowd in Sheffield versus Kell Brook. That's it. Canelo ain't Kell Brook. He ain't Chris Van Deer. He ain't Leonard Bundu. He ain't none of them motherfuckers he done fought. Okay. Canelo Alvarez is a guy that got every advantage in the book. Don't forget that this is not going to be on the even playing field. Okay, Earl Spence is going to have to have a Mayweather S type of performance. And a lot of people opinion Mayweather shut out Canelo 12 to nothing. I don't mean he had to go out there and fight like Mayweather. He going to have to go out there and be perfect. And on one by somebody's scorecard was it CJ Ross or Adley Bird. He got a draw. And this nigga won every round. Now I know people going to say, well, Earl punch harder than Floyd and blah, blah, blah. And, that, and yeah, okay, it wasn't about punching power. It was about domination. It was about being clean. Mayweather was perfection that night. It was ever a perfection in the boxing ring that I could think of in my lifetime that I've seen. It was that fight. He was clean. He didn't suffer a tremendous amount of damage. He beat the bigger guy. It was nothing like that. For Errol Spence, he is a bigger guy than Mayweather. You know what I'm saying? But my problem with him moving up is that does he really have that perpetual movement to move up to do that? You know, does he? And I know, maybe I heard he can move his head, he can box and all that type of stuff. Okay, at the end of the day, it takes a special motherfucker to move up two weight classes. I mean, and, and do what he did. Shane Mosey was special. People got their questions about what we, what he was on versus De La Hoya. Um, he was special. Duran moved up twice, two weight classes versus Sugar Ray Leonard. He was special. Do I put Errol Spence in that class of fighter? No, <laughs> not right now. I don't. But it's his prerogative. If he really want to jump up there and he want to fight uh, uh, Canelo, Rob Brandt said, you know what? You know, he can do it. He'll be fine. He punched hard enough. He got the ability to do so. He got co-signed by a real guy. Rob Brandt is a WBA regular champion at 160. He beat the Olympic gold medalist, Ryota Murata. That's a great co-sign for Rob Brandt for, Can- for, for Errol Spence. But going against Canelo, um, Errol Spence got to be perfect, man. That jab is going to be key for him. And depending on how you're going to fight him, you got to fight Canelo either with aggression. You know, a lot of people say Mayweather ran. No, he didn't. He fought Canelo with aggression. He know Canelo like to come forward. No matter if you see Canelo slipping and dipping, moving laterally, Canelo want to come forward. You got some guys that people rate and say, oh, he's so great. He's the he's a great all-around fighter. No, some motherfuckers like to just come forward. And when you push them back, it ain't the same thing. They can't go backwards. Now, they can go backwards versus inferior competition and look good, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, Canelo Alvarez cannot go backwards and be effective. Now, versus Triple G, you know, he was getting bullied around, but he was a little, he was more effective than I thought he was, but Triple G ain't shit to me. Versus Mayweather, Mayweather kept him at that perfect distance. Mayweather was pasting him. You know, Mayweather don't fight with much of a rhythm. People don't notice that. When he got older, Mayweather don't fight with a rhythm, so it's hard to really time him. And Canelo Alvarez couldn't deal with that speed. He couldn't deal with just the perpetual movement. And he couldn't deal with his with his timing. Has Earl Spence, you know, shown that yet? No, but can it be in his repertoire? Can Earl Spence work the body, push Canelo back? You know, yeah, he can. He can do some of those things. 
But right now, man, with Canelo Alvarez, you know what? Is he going to come in there and show Earl Spence some respect? If, if, if Earl Spence don't hit him with something that he respect, it's going to be a problem. Then Earl Spence is going to have to use his boxing ability. Don't forget, Earl Spence was an Olympian. That boxing ability is there. He's going to have to box better than he did versus Mikey. Because Canelo Alvarez is going to stalk him. His stamina got to be good. It's just too much perfection for him right now. He got to be perfect. He got to be perfect. And versus Canelo Alvarez, you know, that's tough to do. You could be perfect and still get fucked on the sport cars if you don't punch hard enough. Is this jab better than Canelo's? I mean, uh, it's debatable. They both got really good jabs. They both two of the best body punchers in, in the game. Canelo was a good combination puncher, but he punched with the same rhythmic combination. Can Errol Spence get the drop on his combination? It's too much to ask for Errol Spence to hop over 50, to hop to 60. And his apologist is, and his fanboy is going to say, oh, he could beat Canelo. Where's money to be made out there? It's a bunch of money to be made. His apologists are dumb as the days is long. He not Ray Leonard. He not Duran. He not going to just jump up two weight classes and beat Canelo. And Canelo... Got he got he got everything in his favor. The judges, the scorecard is gonna be in Vegas. The network is gonna be on the zone. Can anybody tell me how he beats Can, uh, Canelo Alvarez? We're not even sure if he's faster than Canelo Alvarez at 160. We know Canelo got better head movement. This dude hasn't even beat the elite competition in his division. He hasn't beat Thurman. He hasn't fought Porter yet. He ain't beat Danny, and he hasn't beat Terrence Crawford. You know, but it, it tells you something, man. In this today's age, motherfuckers would rather jump up two weight classes and, and talk about it, but not want to fight their foes or, or the elite competition in their weight class. They'd rather go up and get a, a moral victory by going a distance or taking a chance moving up two weight classes and prove that they're the best. He go up there and fight Canelo. I'm good on seeing him fight Keith Thurman and, and Terrence Crawford. I'm good on it. You know, he can stay at 160 and stay at 154, but he will get beat by Canelo right now. He will get beat. There's no doubt in my mind. His apologist said, I'm riding with Earl because he a brother. Remember, remember, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. You know what that energy is I'm talking about? When y'all told Mikey, oh, Mikey too small to fight Earl. These Mexican fans just, they didn't they believe anything. They didn't believe anything. They don't use logic. Earl going to beat them. Same shit. Same shit. It's the same motherfucking logic. And just as you talked about those Mikey Garcia apologists, you got Earl Spence apologists out there that's going to be betting their money. They're going to roll down there in Vegas or they can roll. They might do it in Texas, roll in Texas with the Earl Spence strap season shirt on just to see him get the shit beat out of him. Or just to see him uh, at, at bare minimum get robbed on the scorecards. Or just to say, oh, he went to this one with Canelo. And if he get another fight at 160, I'm telling you what it's going to be. This dude ain't ready for that type of shit. How about beat Terrence? How about beat Keith? How about go to 154? You know, establish yourself there. Get a fight or two there. And then move we'll up fight Canelo. You know, but then again, Canelo could be gone from 160 by the end, to be honest. You know, but people have people going to have their fanboyism. But I'm saying from a boxing aspect, Canelo upper body movement, you know. His counterpunching a bit early on, the first six rounds, like I said in the Charlo video, the first six rounds is going to be critical. And how Errol carry that weight is going to be critical. You know, but like I said, man, it's going to be, even people going to believe, they're going to they gonna have faith where, you know, you shouldn't have faith at. But like I said before, you know, Earl got, you know, good enough footwork to box side to side and make Canelo work. He got a really good jab. You know, he got... You know, he could punch to the body, but can he take a punch? Can he take a shot to the body? Can he take a counter uppercut from Canelo? You know, can he really box on the back foot, be slick? You know, y'all say he beat heavyweights. He beat up like heavyweights and sparring. He beat up middleweights. At the end of the day, sparring is sparring. It's practice. A fight is a fight. It's different, though. But, hey, like I said, I got Canelo by 5,000 country miles. Um, just too much, you know, too much in his favor as far as size and promotional and the judges and the refs. Just too much in his favor for, for Arrow to win. But I'll be dubbed a hater. Cry two tears in the bucket. Bump it. But don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you have a business question, a quiet response, ship a video request. Keep sharing the videos. Don't forget, 
um, to uh, check our sponsor out, the Hillblaze at thehillblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow on boxing gets you eighteen percent off the hundred percent all natural products, soaps, lotions, foot soaks, bath bombs, deodorant, two packs, hair part made, much much more. Website promo code description. Continue to share, share the videos, and let me know what you think in the comment section. We go.